Hey everyone, welcome to Confrontation Eve, where I'm about to do just as the title says. Or something along those lines. Uh, okay, so this person really is Melissa, who has a drug problem. Or she has a split personality, because she seems to say that she's also Eve. Personally, I have no idea what's what, but... Uh, I'm an officer, so I guess I have to resolve the conflict. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Nucleic dominate what? <laughs> mitochondria, listen, if it's not midichlorians, I guess it's mitochondria, and is that what happened to you? Is that what I should blame? I mean, it's Parasite Eve, and Parasite Eve has a lot to do with mitochondria. I watched the movie. Woo! I don't know how I dodged that, but I'm gonna take it. Uh, also, you have some freaky powers, ma'am. Uh, you have the dual laser, and, uh, be careful. It'll do that, it'll hurt. Not a hard battle, it's just annoying nonetheless. Uh, cause she likes to move like that, so it's really hard to avoid that. Like I said, I can't believe I dodged that, but for all intents and purposes, it is what it is, and I gotta, I gotta win? I still need time. What? Are you saying I have the same power like you do? I don't want to mutate. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I like what. Yeah. See, I. I I'm kind of with Aya. She seems to have the more rational thought, much like myself. And I mean, you're forcing flashbacks into my mind. Uh, at least I think they are. I mean. Yeah, that was that ghost child. Is that a doctor? <laughs> I mean, I guess that would make sense. It looks like we're in some sort of hospital. Also, you know, that doctor. So, we got a doctor and the ghost child. And Eve Melissa is really stupid. Might have kind of... Listen, I don't need to get into this whole weird occult stuff. Uh, another hole in the crown. Well, I guess I'll just follow where the rabbit hole goes. Probably nowhere good, but I mean, the Matrix taught me otherwise. Like, I'd take that blue pill, or was it the red? I don't really know. Whichever one leads me deeper into 12 layers of hell. Also, it looks like we're in some sort of sewer. It's oddly cleaner than I thought it would be. Which, I don't know if that's saying much, but I mean, New York sewer system, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, if this is a sewer, uh, one nasty, you know, I pulled that for Aya in a dress in the sewer, I mean, that both impressive and I felt really bad. Uh, two. Oh, I, I have parasite powers? I have parasite powers. Wait, that, that's a little weird. I mean, um, so I, I'm a parasite. Uh, are you saying I have developed the powers much like Eve? Because that's ridiculous. Also, we got more, we got more enemies. Oh, we got frogs. So you might be curious. How do I use powers? It's pretty... Oh, I already had a heal. So if I really wanted to, I could use that. But basically, this is how you use your magic. Parasite powers are essentially just that. Uh, your magic will recover over time, which is kind of legit. Uh, frogs like to use their tongue to lash it at you. And they really try to 
target you. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying to say the least. They're pretty quick too about it. Also, for the time being, they kind of have a lot of health. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I wasted a turn because I could have used that on the other rat, but I digress. Killed one rat, have to focus on the other one. So yeah, there's not a lot to say other than this is pretty much Parasite Eve in a nutshell. I'm leveling up quite nicely if I do say so myself. And fortunately, you know, random encounters are basically just limited to one per screen, so I'm not, I'm not really upset by that in the slightest. It's pretty nice. Ooh, looks like we got a better gun. So let's see what we got here. Yep, it's better. Uh, something, yeah, rate of fire three. Uh, something to be wary is if I remember correctly, and I could have this backwards. Now we can shoot three bullets. Also, Ghost Child. Showing us the way to go. That, that's fantastic. Uh, I, I don't think she's really there, but at the same time, I mean, uh, how did the door just move? Did, do you have some freaky parasite powers that can basically act as telekinesis or something offense I might use that because if I remember correctly the rate of when you fire three bullets like the damage is distributed I, I guess I could replace an item uh, oh that's fantastic you know what I didn't need to do that well, in any case, I guess what I will do is I will officially start using my offense because I don't really need it, and also, uh, it would be nice to use it. I like to save them, but at the same time, using them isn't such a bad deal. So I might as well. Now then, if I remember correctly, going up actually gives me a pretty nice item. I could be wrong though, but I have to explore all the nooks and crannies while I'm here, you know. I mean, this is only the sewer, and there's graffiti, so that's how I know it's not a good place to be. Because, you know, graffiti is always in the not good places to be, or the city. Uh, pro probably the city, let's be honest. Also, what the... Very awkward battle we got going on here. Also, is that a chest I missed? And that's really hard to dodge when you're just like right here. Let's see. We're getting pretty close. Revive. I knew there was something that I really wanted here. Revive is a really nice thing to get because as far as I'm aware, if you die, it acts as a one-up item and you will automatically be brought back to life quite nice I really want to get what's in that other chest so I'll probably cut right to it unless it's that medicine that I just gave up so apparently that one chest that I saw above that was closed was that medicine also it should be noted that you will fight those rats again if you go up there and uh, they also carry revives so if you really want to you can just keep stockpiling revives uh, I guess that's kind of a broken method of possibilities but you take it as you will I'm gonna move on because having three revives I don't think it's really necessary especially at the beginning of the game but I digress I could be wrong these guys are just gonna do that to me pretty annoying but I digress I'm just gonna keep shooting them and all will be good and you suck buddy have a base full of bullets. So yeah, enemies are gradually getting tougher. Uh, it's also getting to the part where I guess I could start cutting battles because you're not missing much. But at the same time, still, still pretty much the beginning. Oh, is this a phone? Is this anything I really... Oh, hey. 
guess I will use the phone, and then I'll press the switch, and I'll be right with the world. Or something along those lines, I guess that is what it is. And yeah, we're saving. And we're in a sewer. We really are in a sewer. I really feel bad, because, you know, sewers usually have fecal matter and uh, stuff that you don't really want to... Ru like run around in and high as an address and again it's it's pretty nasty all around also Eve oh she's just gonna stand there I have to walk to her I mean I guess I can do that and uh, I'm gonna do the police officer thing and uh, apparently I'm having hot flashes or something I mean, I did that before. You kind of ran away, so I don't really know what to say other than uh, I'm using the same police trope. I I'm special. I get it. You mind linked with me or something, and you keep giving me flashbacks, and I don't really appreciate it. Uh, and eventually, I'll find out why. So basically, you're just giving me a bunch of foreshadowing and mitochondria. They know. Uh, which is going to play into things very heavily, which, again, foreshadowing. So, all this, just foreshadowing, awaken, some sort of awakening. Now we got our first boss fight, which is, which happened, oh man, two targets, that's right. This is a multi-targeting boss fight. You can aim for the head and you can aim for the tail and I recommend the tail just because that can die a lot quicker and uh, does some really annoying stuff. Like so, it does some really annoying stuff. Now the cutscene really confuses me, or at least it used to. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, you see Eve do a thing and then she just kind of wanders off and I feel like there's not really a whole lot of explanation as to why. But from my understanding, she kind of creates an, a sewer gator out, out of nowhere. And I think I just killed the tail because usually that happens when you do that. Like so I can't target it now. So just, just go for the head. We're already half done. Also, laser beams. It's really pissed off. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably heal up before I die. I'm getting kind of low on the HP. There we go. A little bit better. If I hide behind you, you can't hit me with your laser beams. But I can aim at you in the back of the head pretty legit and you're dead and I, yeah I got slow that might be kinda useful also I got a vest that also might be kinda useful and uh, I, I am awakening I got like my third power and everything Reporter in okay. All right. So this guy's like uh, chaos. Yeah Everything bursted into flames. Well the people anyways uh, Wait, what about my date? I mean, I didn't see him burst into flames. Is really what I'm trying to say, but uh, 
spontaneous combustion acknowledged by the cult and enthusiasts. Uh, I, I'm kind of with Aya, you know, pretty traumatizing event, a lot of confusion, uh, and it's Christmas Eve, so, you know, emotions are riding pretty high. And I like this guy who just sacked the reporter. That was pretty legit. Are you... Jim, did you get this on tape? Screw it, buddy. Daniel. Uh, oh, we know this guy. I mean, I guess that would make sense. She only did just call him by name, so... Uh, is this our partner? Uh... Where were you while all this was going? Uh, oh, okay. So our boyfriend really... I mean, our date did run out of there unscathed. Just horrified. Uh, okay, alright. It was just one of those situations where it's like, if you'll stop, I'll, I'll do this. Got it. It's a pity date. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, to be honest, I'm sure it was all just a calling. Uh, more, more like she was instructed to go to the opera, sub, like, uh, subconsciously, you know, subliminal, subliminal, like, uh, reinforcement or something along those lines. Uh, oh, you're talking about your kid, you have a kid? Who's all upset because you're a cop who's working on Christmas Eve? To be fair, I mean, it is family time, and that, that sucks. Mitochondria, symbiosis, uh, and a hospital, a doctor. And, uh, yeah, we should probably get some shut-eye or change or something. Take a shower. Uh, probably take a shower. I mean, that sewer, man. That that's nasty. It all started with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. Uh, six days. So almost a week. People will eventually forget and go. You know. Somehow I feel like they won't unless it was all covered up 20 years ago. I mean, not that I would know. Uh, I mean, you were in the middle of it, so I, I don't blame you. S six days filled with familiar memories. I mean, she only did just put flashbacks into your mind. I guess they could be based on truth or lies or something. Probably truth. She was probably reminded of something. Fusion? What? Fu fusion? I mean, uh, alright, I'll take it. You don't have to ask me twice. Save my pro I guess I will save my progress. I guess I will just select a slot. I guess I will just end it here. So next time, um... I guess we'll go into chapter two or something. That'll be pretty legit.